friends, I would like to invite you to go ahead and get comfy so we can start our story. Remember, we are talking about unicorns. Okay, this comfy, the unicorn who lost its horn. Exciting. This is by Addison Books. The unicorn who lost its horn. A tale of how to catch and spread kindness. Once upon a time, in a world full of magical creatures, there lived a beautiful unicorn named Sparkle. Sparkle had a magnificent spiraling horn on her forehead that shimmered like a rainbow. The colors of Sparkle's horn spread joy and painted the world around her with lots of colors. Flowers that were pale and colorless burst into brilliant shades of red, yellow, and blue. Butterflies with dull gray wings were transformed into dazzling colors, leaving a rainbow trail as they flew away. Sparkle could not be happier with the powers of her beautiful horn. But one day, a terrible storm raced through the land. And as Sparkle tried to find shelter, a bolt of lightning struck her horn. Her horn flew off her head into a nearby river. Sparkle tried to grab it, but it was too late. The horn was lost. The world around her had turned dull and gray without her colorful horn. Determined to find her horn, Sparkle set off on an adventure to bring color back to her world. As she journeyed through the gray forest, Sparkle came across an owl perched on a tree on a branch. With all the color gone, he was trying to sleep, but couldn't tell if it was day or night. Excuse me, kind owl, have you seen my missing horn? Sparkle asked, her eyes full of hope. The owl replied, I haven't seen it, but perhaps the fox near the river may have known something. So Sparkle ventured onward, her hoofs splashing in the shallow river as she approached the fox who appeared to be struggling, catching any fish. Dear fox, have you seen my magical horn? It was lost in this river, Sparkle asked, her voice trembling with concern. The fox shook his head. Nope, it's been hard to see anything clearly in the water with the color gone, but this river empties into a lake at the bottom of the mountain. And wise turtle who lives there may have some answers. With new determination, Sparkle trekked to the base of the towering mountain to find the turtle. With no color, the turtle couldn't tell the difference between the rocks and his food, leaving his cart empty. Hello, wise turtle. Can you help me find my horn and bring color back to this world? Sparkle pleaded. Climb to the mountain, speak, and you shall find what you seek. The journey was long and difficult, but Sparkle persisted, guided by the hope of finding her horn. As Sparkle headed to the peak, she stumbled upon a cave glowing with mysterious light. Inside the cave, she found a sleeping dragon, her missing horn clutched in its claws. Mustering her courage, Sparkle whispered, Please, kind dragon, may I have my horn back? I found this horn in the lake. When I brought it back, it made all of my treasure glow brightly. I can see why you wouldn't want to let it go, but imagine if we could all spread that same joy you're feeling now to everyone in the land. Helping others is the greatest joy one can feel, and together we can do it faster. Touched by Sparkle's kindness, the dragon gently placed the magical horn back on her head. As the horn reconnected with Sparkle, a brilliant burst of color radiated from her spreading across the dragon's cave. The forest, the river, and the mountain were filled with vibrant colors once more. The dragon, now surrounded by color, thanked Sparkle for sharing her magical gift. With her horn of sword, Sparkle began her journey home, leaving a trail of color behind her. As she made her way back, Sparkle visited her friends, the owl, now fully rested, the fox, with arms filled with fish, and the turtle, with a cart full of food. Each of her friends rejoiced in the return of color. Everyone was grateful for the beauty and the joy that Sparkle's horn had brought back. When Sparkle returned home, her friends and family welcomed her with a colorful celebration. From that day on, Sparkle and the dragon became close friends, spreading color and magic throughout the world together. And so, 
Sparkle, the unicorn, and her friends lived happily ever after, cherishing the beauty of their colorful world. Wow, and look at all those other books by Addison Books. That was so awesome. I'm so happy that she was able to find her horn. But not only was she able to find her horn, she was able to make a new friend that was able to spread the color and kindness even faster with her. That is such a great lesson. Have you ever lost something, but then figured out a way to do it faster with somebody else? Or maybe it was a blessing and surprise and you were able